Hey guys, and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do, and this is an unexpected part five of the BAT ICO on May 31st, also known as Basic Attention Token. The reason I'm doing this video is because it was announced that they're going to be increasing the amount of funding and smart contracts available. So, what does that mean? I'll go ahead and read the key changes to you so that you understand exactly what's going on without having to deal with all of the mumbo jumbo and them trying to justify the reason why they're doing it. Number one, we are raising the capital, or the cap rather, the capital cap, to 24 million. It was originally 15, so this is a $9 million increase, guys. That's pretty significant. That is a, a more than a 50% increase. I don't understand that. Uh, they're obviously looking to uh, raise a lot more capital than initially intended. Uh, I don't blame them for how much is out there. I guess now it's just a concern of do they really need it. The cap for the number of tokens is moving to 1.5 billion from 1 billion. Again, about a 50%, right? So there's going to be more tokens. The number of crowd sale tokens is increasing to 1 billion from 700 million, an increase of 73%. So the crowd sale tokens is only increasing 43%. Very interesting. The user growth pool, again, the growth pool is the token set aside to incentivize people to essentially download the Brave browser and try to make money. The user growth pool is increasing to 300 million tokens from 1 million tokens. A 200% increase. Okay. The token set aside in this BAT development pool will remain at 200 million tokens, a reduction of 13% from 20. Oh boy. A little bit of red flags going off for me personally. And again, this is only my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. I've already given my synopsis on what I think about BAT and whether or not I would invest. My first thought here is that anyone looking to flip, be careful, tread lightly. You may take a small loss. I don't think that you're gonna be able to flip it like you've seen in the past. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know, but the likelihood just went down significantly. Essentially, in the romance text, they're basically saying that they're trying to make it accessible to as many independent investors as possible and they don't you know they're worried about the big boys the whales coming in and owning the whole entire thing i think it's a bunch of garbage i don't see why they can't try to take measures like limit um the amount require people to make an account of some kind or you know there's measures you can take I understand that maybe they want to keep it decentralized and they don't want to have to ask for your uh, name and number and all that and that's cool too I'm down with that I get it I get it I just I just don't like it you know it's on the 31st it's uh, you know nine days away and they slipped it in on Monday of consensus just slipped it in Ethereum and Bitcoin hit all-time highs. There's all this sexy news coming out. And they just slip this right in. Maybe no one will notice. Maybe all the people who have already made up in their mind that they're going to invest a bunch into BAT are going to do it anyways, and we don't want to scare them off. And we'll just go ahead and issue this statement. And in case they read it, we'll just try to convince them that we're trying to help them. I'm seriously concerned about what they plan to do with the money. They essentially say that they're going to hire more engineers. Shouldn't you have made a plan in the first place to hire the number of engineers you actually needed? Not, oh, let's do a money grab and hire more. Now, 
some of you may argue, well, that's great. It's faster, faster roadmap. You know, we can get, we can roll out the business plan. Wait a second, what business plan? I still haven't really seen a real business plan. Don't forget that they don't even have a real roadmap. It's four bullet points in a white paper. Tread extremely lightly, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually probably gonna put some money in this, but tread extremely lightly. Think about all the other opportunities out there that may be more transparent, that may be approaching this the right way and trying to do the right things. While BAT has a all-star lineup, that doesn't mean success every time. Really think about it. Personally, I don't like this greedy grab at the last minute. Why not just have another launch later after maybe you have something to show for your work. How about you reward the people that invest in the first round instead of basically devaluing them? Every single one. The people there are people who have already made up their mind. They're probably never gonna see this or they're or slip under the rug and they won't notice. Which is sad because all of you should be doing your homework. Anyhow. I'm disappointed that they're not going to be doing more funds into marketing. Now, they say that they're going to try to focus on international expansion targeting China, India, and Japan, as well as the United States and Europe. Guys, that's literally the entire cryptocurrency market. Like, I would hope you're targeting it already. Um, that is such a, a lame statement to say. Yeah, we're pretty much just going to target all the key places that we pretty much already should be targeting. We should have already put this in our roadmap, but because there's a bunch of money available, we, we, we came up with ways to try to ask for more, and we just decided that we'll just go ahead and do these other countries sooner than later. Oh boy. I have serious concerns. You know, when we're talking about going um, international with a browser, I need help. I need help from you guys. If any of you have experience with localization of browsers, let me know. I have lots of experience with localization with video games. I also have a very clear understanding of what it takes to localize a video game. And I understand the costs. But I don't understand browsers. So if you guys can help me with that, that'd be fantastic. Because I don't know what they're raising all this money for. I would much rather see all the money go into a cost-effective, long-term, consistent marketing plan with consistent positioning, with clear, consistent visibility in places where they can maximize user retention or user adoption, rather. Not retention, adoption. That's what I want, guys. Like, I want this to be successful so bad. I actually enjoy the browser. I do. But this is all about the browser. This token has nothing to do with the browser. Uh, they need to be working on the browser and nothing but the browser and getting people to use it first. There is no ecosystem unless people use it. Think about other browsers in your life that if they created a coin, it would have instant value. What if uh, Steam, the uh, PC platform for video games, released a token? Everyone would be using it, right? Overnight. Um, I talked about in a video, you know, if a company like Xbox or Sony did something like that, overnight. You know that those companies have exper experimented with coins before, Xbox points and things like that. Um, and now, of course, we see Digibyte getting connected to Minecraft and things of that nature. It won't be long before cryptocurrency is just woven into the fabric of video games. It's just, it's an inevitable outcome. But... There is no user base for Brave. Do your homework, guys. I hope you watched all four parts of the series before this. Do your homework. Don't invest unless you really believe in it. Because it's a belief. I don't see any business plan. I don't see any roadmap. I don't see any value-added machine. There are no clear strategies, policies, standards, procedures, 
there's literally nothing that makes it clear about how they're actually going to increase the user adoption of Brave, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. And that's all I have to say about that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this update, this part five of the BAT overview. Um, I hope that you guys will answer the question I had about localization of the browser, but also um, I hope we just have a conversation about ICOs in general. Leave me comments. Let's talk about these things. Let's make sure we're spending our money the right way. Guys, in the next five and 10 years, the amount of opportunities in this space are insane. They are endless. Do we have to get caught up in the very first ones just because they're the first ones? What are the odds that they're going to be the winners? Just because they're first to market, does it make them the winner? Bancor was about to do an ICO, and I was going to do a video on it, and now I don't even know if it's worth the time. Because Bancor just got wrecked today because Shapeshift announced Prism. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look up Bancor, go look up Prism, and you'll understand which one's better, and you already know which one's going to win. Who's to say someone else isn't going to come along and just wreck BAT or wreck the Brave browser? What if Google was just chilling on their own blockchain right now with the whole entire concept built in, with the user database, with uh, the advertiser and the publishers? They got everything, guys. They have everything they need. Just ask yourself that. You know who would make an awesome browser? Amazon.com. They have the user base. They have people who love their devices, and they can integrate the browsers. What? Why is there not an Alexa browser? I practically have one because I have an app, and that app is connected to my voice-activated Alexa, and it's connected to all my devices, etc., etc. I literally live in the ecosystem adopting a browser. I wouldn't even notice if you did it. In fact, you could almost argue that the Fire TV is a browser in and of itself. Think about it, guys. Anyhow, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, as always, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Leave a good comment. And uh, subscribe. If you like this kind of information, if you like this kind of news, subscribe. I do this all the time. It's a hobby. I love doing it. And I hope you guys love it too. Also, I'm on Steemit. If you go down to the description, you can find my link to Steemit. Uh, follow me on Steemit and give me a like there as well. An upvote means the world to me. It helps a lot, both in the short term and the long term of the project I'm working on here. So, again, guys, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate your time more than you know, and I hope I see you again soon. I am the King of Do, and may the Force be with you.